Hi crocheters of the world, in this tutorial I invite you to learn with me if you want to, if you like this technique that you see. It's a new technique I can say because it's, uh, as you can see, um, this nice design that it creates. Uh, it's a stitch that can be worked straight to and that will be uh, soon the tutorial on that version too but now I want to show you how to work in co in a corner <laughs> and yes corner four corners in a square why because it's so lovely and uh, we can crochet so many beautiful projects of course I have in, what I have in mind it's a lovely blanket but it can be also a pot holder or it can be also a, a um, cushion or a um, Yes, blanket obvious or a bag or I don't know, so many beautiful things we can create with this uh, square. We can work a square, large square for a lap gun or we can just work squares and put them together, so sew them together actually and um, work a, a blanket. I don't know, I think it's, it's so lovely. Can you see this little... Uh, flowers here that uh, it creates and we have to work if you want we can work it in just one color if you want to but uh, I think in uh, that if we change actually the color after each two rounds it gives this really really beautiful effect so I will continue on I don't know what will be maybe a table cover something I don't know like a doily I don't know uh, I must say I, a runner sorry a, a uh, squared runner for my table I don't know for now but I really really like it okay so let's get started it's mm, tricky okay so let, let us focus. Now I will begin with the green. I am working with my cotton. Favorite cotton is this one and from ICRs. You can find it in my uh, shop. You have the link below. It's natural cotton and there are not, um, there are actually a few colors, not very large um, scale of colors so you can uh, I put the link below of another cotton that you can tr uh, you can try you can buy and it's uh, exactly the same quality only that it has much more colors uh, to choose from so I will just begin with a slip knot and with a chain of three one two three yarn over we will work so I will work the version here not with the puff stitches because you can try it after you learn um, perfectly learn how to work so the the technique you can just try with puff stitch because it's so nice and and soft okay but um, the puff stitch itself it's a little bit difficult to work so I want you to focus on the um, uh, on the pattern here. That's why I'm working with a uh, easier stitch, which is the cluster stitch with three double crochets. So I will put this one as a. So we have chain three, insert two into the first, work one double crochet, don't finish it, second double crochet, don't finish it, yarn over, pull through all, and we have the first cluster. Chain one, two, three. So we chain three with the secure chain. Insert hook into the next and uh, insert hook into the next. Insert hook into the secure chain and work your second cluster. One, two, three. And we work four clusters like this. Okay, this is the second. This is the third. One, two, three. And let's go on with the fourth. Now let me tell you that this is the very first square of the fourth, four, sorry, chain. We have the four. Now uh, we will just want to uh, join with the first. Believe me, we have to like this. Insert hook into the chain and join. Just slip stitch to join. Okay. Now this, this 
is just one of the squares and it's this one. Let's pretend it's this one. As you can see, we have actually four squares. That's why in all the samples here, I worked the, mm, this will be the very first round. So I worked the first round with a different color because it's the most strange, let's say, from uh, all the, the pattern, okay? So it's better that we under, you understand it. And it's also the foundation, uh, so we cannot begin, begin without it. So let's say this is the first square. This is this one, okay? And now we will go with the next. This is the second, third, and fourth. Now for the next, we will work one, a solitary cluster and then we will work two together okay to complete because here we actually have a side of our triangle of our square so we need three more so let's go on over this one actually so this is this this is our first okay so I will uh, chain two because I already have this one insert hook into the stitch here and work two more uh, double crochets for the cluster and this is the solitary cluster which means I just want to chain to close the cluster and now we will just work so to um, close our second square we work two together and how chain two insert hook into the secure chain of the first cluster and work two more double crochet. Now we don't want to close this cluster by itself because we will skip this one, this side, insert hook into the chain and let us work the second cluster. And for the second cluster obvious that we work it with three double crochets. Only the first cluster is work with chain three plus two more and yarn over now we can pull through all and we have to chain to secure and here believe me or not here it is believe me or not we have the second square now let's go for the third square for the third square we will work exactly as we work for the second one solitary cluster plus two together so Chain two more, insert hook into the first and work two more double crochets. Chain to secure and now we will work two together. Chain two more and two double crochets. This is my first cluster and I will skip this. Insert hook here in the middle and work my second cluster. One, two, and three and of course I will yarn over and close them together and secure a chain okay this is my third can you see and now I have to work the last for the last as you can see we already have two sides so actually I have to work two together to complete with other two sides these sides so one and two will be worked the second will be worked on the top of the first solitary cluster. So let's go on with chain two, insert hook into the secure chain, the previous clusters and work the first one, leave it there and into the uh, secure chain of the first solitary cluster we work the second one, two and three. Okay, and now we want to yarn over and um, close together and this is our first round but so this is our first round believe me or not that's it now what we want to do uh, I change yarn just because I wanted to be sure I want actually to be to be clear enough but I will try not to change the yarn let's see uh, this this uh, swatch uh, was sample was worked by me for the Italian uh, tutorial so now let's see uh, we have I will explain and I hope will be okay because we have here the sample with two different colors I want to try it with the same color because I think it's better so as the design okay <laughs> so um, from the second round 
all the rounds are the same only that we will have more cluster horizontal cluster uh, in each round we have uh, we have here we have two now this is the corner this is the corner and here we have one two three four okay now this is the corner this is the corner here we have one two three four five actually one two three four five and six okay then this is the corner and this is the corner so here we have one two three four five six seven eight and two uh, uh, only uh, always we have on one side so from the corner to the corner two clusters more so two four six eight and ten okay so here we will have four now let's see how to work we will begin actually to work on the side and then we will actually work the corner when we reach the corner these are the four corners into the first corner we just begin to work our solitary cluster and believe me or not the first corner will finish exactly as we finished this uh, last square of the first round so we two together but uh, we will see so I will close the solitary cluster and now I will work two two always work uh, along the side we will always work two clusters together this is the first rule so two clusters together the second we skip one horizontal we insert hook and we work the second always always okay pull through all chain and this is the first now we go on with two together again because we have one more cluster horizontal cluster on one side okay and this is here skip one and work the second cluster okay chain and this is what we have we actually complete kind of complete the first uh, side here now we have to work the corner and this is the second rule uh, for our technique we are into the corner okay we just work two clusters together and we are into the corner into the corner you always work one solitary cluster so this is my solitary oops this is my solitary cluster which means we close it to, uh, by itself it's like the first cluster okay and two clusters together the second will be work one skip we won't skip with the second one cluster but will be work exactly as we work the second of the last pair last two together okay and this is the rule of the corner that's all so as you can see it's not that difficult this is the first and the second will be work exactly as we work where we work the last pair of two the second of the last pair of two on the side that we finish just finish and chain okay this is my corner this is my corner this is a square on the corner as you can see we have three squares here and we will have actually four okay go on with the next side the other side exactly the same thing first rule on the side we always work two clusters together so let's go on with two clusters together skip one horizontal bar oops i just want to insert to here um yes one two and three okay and we work it one two and we just want to work one okay and we go on and work again two clusters together we have another um horizontal cluster to work over okay so we have we actually completed our this was the horizontal clusters the pair the two pairs this was the corner two pairs okay okay now uh, we just go on this is the square in the middle we just work this side okay so it's 
sides like this we just work this side we want to continue on and again we are into the corner into the corner we always work we always want to work one solitary cluster don't forget about that one solitary cluster here it is chain to secure and two clusters the second will be worked where were uh, where the second of the last pair was worked so here okay which means one and the second is here this is my last pair of the side it's exactly here that I will work the second cluster of the pair of the corner this is the pair that we work for the corner and here it is my corner it's ready exactly as I have this one I have this one now again I will go on the side and I will work on the side first rule we work always work class um, two clusters together one and with the second we skip one horizontal cluster two what do you think it's not that difficult isn't it and we go on we have one more to the other corner and this will be the third corner okay one and we skip one solitary uh, one horizontal cluster and we work one two three okay we close it like this and now we are into the corner again we are into the corner again okay so we work this corner to a pair of clusters and we are into the corner again which means we work our solitary cluster don't forget about it so one solitary cluster and one pair that the second of this pair the second cluster will be worked exactly where we worked the second of the last pair of the previous side which means this is the last pair it's here that we go and we work this one two three double crochets and pull through two to secure and we have the third corner finished it looks better from aesthetical aesthetic point of view without this in the middle so as i said i worked it just mm, for the sake of the explanation but i think it's clear enough okay and now we are again on our um side and we have to work what we work on the side on the side we always work pairs of clusters one skip one is a took into the next and work the second and we always skip one horizontal cluster one two and one one two three skip one is a took we are into the beginning corner the first and the last <laughs> and you'll see why because it's here that we have to complete we finish with our second pair and now this is what we have and what we need to complete it are as i said as i said here for the fourth square we work two clusters together like this this is exactly what we have to work here too so as i said before it's exactly the same thing uh, the same way we uh, we will always close the round so work three together yarn over and on the top of the solitary cluster of the beginning we work the second okay so we worked the second round look at it i don't know i just love it i just love it look at it isn't it just beautiful 
Okay, now we can, uh, if we want to, we can change the yarn. And actually I will change the yarn, okay? Because I want to begin again to, so put here, and I will work with pink. To change yarn, we will skip, we will cut this. These two are beautiful together. A baby blanket. Okay. And I will insert hook into the chain here. This. And I just want to join the yarn. And you know how we begin the round. We just work one solitary cluster. And this is what we do. I just want to work one solitary cluster. Here it is. I chained. And now we will go on on the side. Now on the side, as I said before, instead of two, we have one, two, three, four. How we will work on the side? Two clusters together to actually close the squares, to form the next squares. So two, 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 and two together till the corner is reached. So, one. So we work two to get as many uh, two pairs of clusters, we work as many uh, horizontal clusters we have on one side. So there are four here. And we skip one, we insert hook into the next, in between the clusters, sorry, and we work the second cluster. Close them together. This is the first pair. Go on with the second. And we skip one. Horizontal cluster are always because actually the horizontal cluster is one side of our squares, okay? The bottom side, okay? We go on with two more, so you can see. We go on with two more. Let's go. One, two. Two more pairs, obvious, of clusters. Two together, two times. One, skip one horizontal cluster. And work one, two, and three. Okay. One, two. And let us work the fourth pair of clusters. And we skip one and we will work it exactly into the corner. Which means here we are with the last pair of cluster of the side. We reach the other corner. Now it comes the moment for the second rule. So there are two rules, important rules. Let's say three because um, the third is that we always begin uh, with a solitary cluster. And we always, always finish, this is the fourth rule, we always finish a round with two clusters together. Like this, okay. So we are into the corner, this is the second rule. And for the second rule, we know that when we are into the corner, when we work the last pair of the side, we just want to work a solitary cluster. Like this. And two together, the second will be worked exactly as we worked the second of the last pair of the previous side of the square. One, two, we go directly into the same stitch, which is exactly in the middle of the corner, so into the, in the middle of the corner, so into the corner actually, right into the corner. Okay, this is the second, and let's go for the third and be close together. And this is nothing else but our first complete 
corner because we have just half corner here. Here we have a complete corner, okay? A quarter, I can say, not neither a, a, a half but a quarter of the corner because we have just one cluster and we need four here into the corner, okay? As we can see, are actually two clusters, two pairs put like this to create the corner. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four. Again, as we did for this side, we go on with two pairs, with four pairs on the other side. And we work the corner on this side. We work the same thing. I will be back to show you how to finish the row. I'm back because I almost finished this side too. I only have one side, but I want to show you again how to work the corner. So one solitary cluster and a pair of clusters worked the second actually is worked exactly as exactly where was worked the second of the last cluster of the previous side so the side that we just completed and this is the corner again and now we will continue on with the very last side and for the very last side, we work exactly the same number of clusters, pair of clusters that we work for the other sides, obvious, because it's, oops, this was just two, I need three, okay, and so two here and work. One, two, and three. Okay. I go on with the second pair. And so for the second round, the third, sorry, round, we worked four pairs on one side. And to the next, we will work six pairs on one side. To the next we will work 8 pairs on one side, 10 pairs on one side and so on. Okay. Now I'm almost there. I have one more to work. One, two, three, and so took into the middle here, into the corner. We work the last pair. And how to finish the corner? The last corner. We began it, but we haven't finished it yet. We work one. And one more. Not two. Together. And we continue on with the same color. One more round and then we can change color and so on. Isn't it just lovely? So this is it. This is it. Really, really beautiful from my point of view. It's so, so nice. Uh, as I said, you can make blankets, you can make uh, table runners, uh, so many beautiful things, lap gowns, yes. Beautiful lap gowns and so many beautiful things, just. Um, I know you 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 will uh, be inspired by this because it's it's beautiful it's nice it's colorful so it's easy to work so it's nice don't forget to subscribe if you like if you like my tutorials and so you won't miss another one and um, just take a look if you are new take a look on the videos I have lots and lots of crochet and knitting and Tunisian crochet tutorials 
and if you want to buy from our shop uh, we have the link below and if you want because there are so 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 many stitch uh, many stitches many yarns kind of yarns you can just write me on the contact from the home of the page of the site you can write uh, us a letter and i will just advise you on the yarn that you want to that you that you uh, buy um, I don't know, for a project, even if it's not in my project, okay? So if you want to buy a yarn for something else, I will be so very happy to, to advise you if you need my advice. Thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye!